My name is Bo Webb. I was born in a coal camp. My dad worked for the coal company and we lived in a coal company house. I was a 18 year old naive kid, graduated out of high school. And I decided, well, if I wanted to go to Vietnam, join the Marine Corps, so I did. And I went right to Vietnam. I was with the 1st Battalion, 12th Marines, 3rd Marine Division. I rode shotgun on convoys for supplies. And uh, we saw a lot. I got over there and I saw a government that didn't care about their people. People that just wanted to be left alone. They had their rice fields. They were doing quite fine. They didn't need us over there bombing and blowing up their mountains and their villages. After I came back, I realized I had been used. I had that sickening feeling in my stomach, best way I could put it, and it subsided. And then when I came back to West Virginia seven years ago, it came right back when I saw what was taking place here. I just couldn't believe what was taking place here. Once I got up on the mountain and I looked what was behind the ridge, and then I flew over and looked at it and I was shocked. There's over three and a half million pounds a day of explosives in West Virginia. And so sometimes when these blasts go off close to the house, if I'm outside, I've hit the deck several times. It's, you know, incoming. And uh, I've talked to other Vietnam veterans that, that yeah, they, they, they understand it, you know. That's not what I went to Vietnam for, for these corporations to abuse people like this. I just couldn't stand by and watch this happen. It's so blatantly wrong that I had to do something. I'm a board member of Coal River Mountain Watch. We are a nonprofit. We're fighting mountaintop removal. I've never worked harder or more hours, and I get paid nothing, and it's okay. It's, it's the most rewarding job I've ever had. So that's what we really want to talk about is how do we move forward? What are we going to do? Don Blankenship had a thing in the paper, the CEO of Massey Energy, that, oh, there's some folks here that just want to get on the camera. I, I don't want and they want to get in the newspaper, and they just want to rattle a little bit. And uh, they're currently labeling us as environmental economy terrorists, which, and they call us radicals. And I, every time they, I, I get called a radical, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know what's more radical than blowing a mountain up and creating a hardened landscape that, where there's no, no, no understory, no soft dirt, no trees, and when it rains, this water comes down the mountain, has nowhere to go, and it floods people's homes out, and some people have actually died from this, and to me, that's about as radical and as much of a terrorist as you can be.